And I was internally debating a lot of interesting issues when I sat down to review this. For example, I don't think I've ever watched a single Star Trek anything. The movies, the TV show, no clue. Now, yeah, I always think it's good to review a game like this with some background on the franchise for context. But on the other hand, I also think there are advantages to reviewing it without any background. That way the only thing that factors into your opinion is the game itself. I think these are interesting questions. A lot more interesting than this game. Just released for the PS3 and Xbox 360, Star Trek is based on the new Star Trek movie. But I, I should probably warn you, excited Trekkies, it's not what you might be hoping for. That, although then again, you know, if you're hoping for a mediocre third-person shooter that wouldn't even be a blip on the radar without the Star Trek name, well, have Scotty beam you up a copy, because you're going to love it. So, uh, Star Trek is essentially Mass Effect. Only, you know, without the cool story, dialogue choices, character interactions, RPG elements, satisfying weapon fire, and sexy blue aliens. But otherwise, Mass Effect. Plays either Captain Kirk or Spock, choosing one or the other at the onset. And I guess, ostensibly, there's a difference between them. I mean, one has pointy ears. Now, the biggest problems with Star Trek are general problems, in terms of both its design and execution. The game's supposed to be designed for co-op, but its co-op elements are so arbitrary, it just it feels tacked on. I mean, you might need help with doors, but... I mean, listen, Star Trek is as much a co-op game as Resident Evil 5 was. Only Sheva could at least hold crap. She wore a leopard skin bikini. Think you could pick up the pace, Spock? And then there's the execution. I mean, Star Trek just feels like a licensed game, which is to say, rushed along to get to retail when the movie comes out. And it's a shame because well, this is kind of an ambitious game, at least for a movie game, but it just feels unfinished. The ideas aren't developed enough, and it just feels like this is a game that needed a lot more time in the oven. Look, I, I could go on. The guns feel weak, the game's filled with bugs, but you know, I, I don't want to kick a dead Vulcan here. This might have been a pretty good game, but it's not. And my guess is that even Star Trek fans would agree. This is not some amazing game based on your franchise. You know, This isn't something like Arkham City. This is just another movie game. 